That's right. So if you have a pet, you know how expensive medical bills can be. If you don't have a pet, they're expensive. Imagine then the pain of losing your beloved companion because you couldn't afford a vital treatment. Waggle is working to change that. The company uses a crowdfunding model for pets in crisis. And joining us now is the CEO and founder of Waggle, Stephen Mornelli. Good morning, Stephen. Thank you. Good morning. So thank you for having me. Absolutely. We were just showing a picture of two puppies sort of kissing each other and one looked like he or she had an IV. But it paints the picture of what happens every year. Half a million dogs and cats are sadly euthanized simply because their owners can't afford medical treatment. And what was interesting to me is that this doesn't just take a toll on the pets and the pets owners, but also veterinarians. So tell us what you have been observing in this world. Yeah, absolutely. I probably guess that most of your viewers haven't heard about the term economic euthanasia. It was one when I started Waggle I had never heard of. Upwards of a million pets, a million, are lost every single year because people can't afford the cost of veterinary care. And clearly it's been a problem that has been exacerbated with, uh, with the pandemic. And so thus Waggle is born. So how are you and Waggle helping solve this problem? Because a million pets I never would have imagined. No, and that might even be a conservative number across North America. We started Waggle uh, to, because we saw so many of the shenanigans were going out there in the, in the crowdfunding space. Waggle is a solution to this intractable problem that no one else is presenting. We do something very different. 100% of the money that we raise is paid directly to these veterinary hospitals. Hmm. No one's doing this at scale. And because of the safety and security for donors, we're attracting fantastic names across the celebrity influencer space. And of course, veterinary hospitals, um, because you're absolutely right, the, the pain and agony is not just visit upon pet owners, but the hospital staff, the, uh, the people are handling so many of the rescues and shelters across the United States. This is what able, uh, enables Waggle to, uh, to have an amazing solution that didn't exist prior. Okay, so walk me through this again. I have a pet who needs some sort of surgery. How can, how can Waggle help me? Because the, the money, the, it's crowdfunding, but it's not going to me, right? It's going to the vet. That's exactly right. So it's really as easy whether you're uh, an individual in the, in the public or if you're a rescue or a shelter or any other type of animal welfare organization, no matter how you find out about waggle.org, it's really as simple as going to our website and signing up. Um, if you've already been to the hospital, we're going to ask you to upload your invoice. That's something that we do that other organizations aren't doing at scale is authenticating that we know who the people are, we know where the money's going. And because we're purpose built, we're not trying to solve every problem in the world. We're trying to solve this, uh, this problem that so many pets are, people are losing their pets. And because that we're purpose built and uh, the questions that we ask, we make it really easy for everybody to get involved. So how many pets did you save last year in, in your estimate? So we have over a thousand hospitals have joined, nearly as many rescues and shelters and over a thousand pets last year. And we see that going to multiples this year. Our goal would be to get to the tens of thousands in the next few years so we can really make a dent uh, in, in this problem. I know that celebrities often help causes uh, and you have some celebrities that are matching donations. Yeah. Miranda Lambert, Andy Cohen, Mayim Bialik. How did they get involved? Um, and other than offering their, their star power, how instrumental have they been? It's extraordinary to watch what uh, started off as organic growth to get picked up by these amazing names because there's a security and a safety for everyone involved that they just can't get elsewhere. It's an amazing cause. It's easy for these individuals, celebrities, influencers, to become part, become part of the solution here. And just by giving awareness and exposure to what we do, it allows us through our forever fund or one-time donations to really amplify the dollars that are being used. We do this through the form of matching grants. Mm. So any excess dollars that might be generated that people give to our organization, if you visit our site, you'll see that we have incentive grants that essentially double this money. Uh, so the, the, the power of these celebrities getting involved um, becomes multiplied very quickly. Stephen, I wanna bring in the team because a couple of us are our pet parents. I'm a new-ish pet parent. Sadly, I do not have pet insurance, but I know, Ben, you were asking about pet insurance and how that figures into uh, what you're doing over at, at Waggle. Yes, no, absolutely. I mean, one of our dogs got sick uh, a mm -hmm. month ago, and we had to run him into the vet, and um, 
he would just, they, they took his temperature, checked his eyes, and then they gave me the bill, and they had to take my temperature and check my <laughs> eyes because I was like, oh my gosh, like that's insane. And we're fortunate that we could pay that stuff. But I was thinking, I was like, why don't, why, why isn't there help? And it's so wonderful to see a platform like this where mm -hmm. there is help. There is, and you can get involved, even if you're not attached to the person, you can say, oh, this is, I, I, love, I love this. I want to help this person out. That's it's the feel good part of what we're doing here. It's extraordinary. And all some of the, the bunch of bad news that we see uh, in the news today on the websites, there are literally people in the thousands coming to help people that they don't know. It's truly a grassroots and community solution to witness these people coming in, opening their wallets, donating $25, $50 sometimes, sometimes a little 10 or five um, to, to people they don't even know across the country. It is extraordinary and heartwarming. And to answer your question about health insurance, so veterinary insurance, I should say, uh, it's in the United States, only about 1%, one percent, one and a half percent of people have have insurance. And uh, that's it's really low in the UK. It's 25 percent. Scandinavia, 35 percent. Mm -hmm. It's really not leveraged here the way it should be. Um, we want to see that grow. We want to see people have uh, rainy day funds. So they don't find themselves in this situation. So we never position Waggle as being the solution. But if someone finds themselves in the worst of times, they can come to us and collectively as a community, we can help people uh, get the support and save their pets in a way that just previously wasn't available. Stephen Morinelli, thank you so much for your tips, your insights, and right here on the full screen, if you'd like to donate to help give a pet the life-saving treatment he or she needs, head to waggle.org.